Hey beauties, it's Christmas decorating day two and today we're doing her nursery and our bedroom and her nursery is going to be nutcracker themed. It's so exciting. We have a ton of new stuff. If you missed my haul video, I'll link that down below. So let's jump right into making this room magical and perfect and Christmassy for our little Christmas princess. Let's do it. I want to take a minute to introduce myself for anybody who's new here. Hi, my name is Bella and I'm the stay-at-home mommy of that sweet little toddler you just saw a couple seconds ago. And I love making cleaning, decorating, organizing, just homemaking and motherhood style videos in general. And I hope that you'll stick around and subscribe and join this amazing supportive community. And stick around till the end for a fun Christmas surprise from Kennedy and I. I'm gonna start off today by just cleaning off all the surfaces and I'm gonna start taking down some of the Halloween decorations. She didn't have very many in here. Next year I'll be doing a lot more with her nursery but this year we were getting settled in from the move because we just recently moved in here so I didn't go crazy for Halloween in here. But she did have a couple things on her floating shelves and I really like to just take everything down and make sure that everything's clean before I jump into decorating because it can get a little bit overwhelming if you start trying to do too much too quick. And I have a really exciting announcement to make. Kennedy just joined the ambassador program with the boutique Jack and Bo. So if you're looking for a 20% off discount on anything site-wide from Jack and Bo, it is Kennedy Jade 20 and I will leave her link in the description so that your discount is automatically applied. So here's the huge bag from the tour haul. And I know I mentioned it a little while ago and didn't really tell you, but Kennedy's Christmas stuff was, let's just say it flew out of the back of the moving truck. So that's a tire mark. <laughs> and uh, we had to pull over on the side of the road to get it. So I don't know if you can even see it, but yeah, that's the story. Only one thing was damaged though. It was like a miracle early Christmas miracle. Here's, well not bad, but here's the Halloween stuff that came down. I think I'm gonna keep these ghosts because she is obsessed with, it's this ghost in particular, it's weird, but she loves this ghost. So we're actually gonna keep this around all year. All right, so we have Christmas chaos, but believe it or not, it is an organized chaos. This stuff is for her table. Here's her bookshelf. How cute is that little baby deer? I love that. Here's what I'm gonna put on and around her mirror. That is on or around her crib. And here is the little shelves, the floating shelves. Some fun Christmas toys that's gonna go on her door. It's also gonna go on her door. And I always keep our Christmas books and seasonal books with the seasonal decor. Let me know if you do that or if it's just me. And I'll put it up here, a picture of the Christmas tree because you won't be seeing it, but in here is all the stuff for her Christmas tree. Miss Ma'am got all into our family room Christmas tree. So if you missed part one, you saw how she was just enamored with the tree. It's super cute, but I need a place where I can not worry about her and her room has to be that. It's cold outside. Now starting her gingerbread lane, floating shelf kind of decor. And I'm going for Nutcracker theme with all the different lands. I thought that that would be a really fun way to make the decor really interesting. I know I went over the top in here. I totally understand, but that is just how I am with Kennedy, especially she is my little everything. I know you can tell a lot of people in the comments always say how 
I am just enamored with Kennedy and that is 100% true. She's the best thing that's ever happened to me, that goes without saying. So I think that she deserves having a nursery that is all out and completely decorated for Christmas. I loved Christmas as a little girl and I always had my room decorated and I wanted to do the same thing for Kennedy. Let me know if you like the look of it hanging down the snow a little bit. I actually like it. And then I tried to make, I don't know if you can tell, I tried to make this look kind of like a snowy like mountain behind. I don't know, let me know what you think. And I wasn't able to fit the kitty in the Santa, but I have another idea for them. Now moving on to her bookshelf. I had most of this stuff already. The only thing that is new. Well, the only two things that are new are her pink Santa and her Christmas kitty, but the rest I got from, I think, Target. I don't know where I got that middle Christmas tree from. If you want the link, I can try to find it, but I know those bottle brush, whoa, sorry, those bottle brush trees are from Target. And I've been thinking about recreating this look on my like to know it because I saw a lot of similar things. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see. As a lot of you know, I'm a play schooling mom, so I have all these books. Let's see, The First Christmas. We have The Nutcracker that kind of ties into the theme. And A Dolly for Christmas, and it's about adoption. Some of you know, some of you don't. I was adopted, so I wanted to get her a little book to age appropriate, explain it to her. I don't know guys, what do you think? Should I move the Santa? I don't know. I'm not 100% feeling this. The kitty's too little. Maybe if I switch the baby deer and the kitty. I don't know, let's see it. I ended up having to play around with this bookshelf quite a bit and I don't know what it was because last year I was able to do it really easily but maybe it's just being in a new space. I'm not sure but let me know how you think it looks in the end. I don't know, I feel like it's right there. That's the issue. I have something, I'm gonna try it. Falling down and every child is having so much fun. A snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform. I'm feeling that a little bit more. I actually like that there. I usually have that on our door, but I think I'm going to leave it there. Do you decorate the bedrooms in your house for Christmas, or is that just me? I also switch out the soaps in the bathroom for Christmas soaps in both our bathroom and in Kennedy's bathroom. I think that it was just how I grew up, so I started doing it as an adult in my own place. My parents love Christmas and always decorated every room, every bathroom, even Kennedy's tree, the one that I'm not putting up this year, was mine as a child. So let me know in the comments if that's normal to decorate every room or if that's just a me not thing. not gonna work, but I think I'm gonna put it up there. All the stuff that I'm hanging on her mirror or on her window are from Target. And if you like anything that you see in this room, just let me know and I will try to get you that link. A good way to get a hold of me is on my Instagram. That's Bella underscore Ariana 127. You can send me a direct message and then I will try to find it for you. I think I like that. Should I be super extra and hang up the other one above it? All I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas a moment. We'll fill with love that. Shot. And it's kind of hard to see snow day. Maybe if I bring the camera closer, you can see it really well in person. I don't need any presents. As long as now, moving on to her nursery table, I wanted to switch the candle, and every year, well, last year. This is her second Christmas, but I put the Santa hat on top of the lamp again, and I think I'm gonna do it every single year. I love that so much. Ooh, and in a 
why we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas. I was originally gonna put these Christmas books on the bookshelf, but sometimes we like to read by the natural light of her window on play schooling days because it's been so rainy here. When the weather was nicer, we used to sometimes do our school days outside in nature, but there's gonna be a lot more of indoor school days this time of year, so I wanted to create a nice and cozy reading space. This next part is my favorite thing in her entire nursery right now for Christmas. I had this idea after last Christmas and I've been thinking about it for the whole year and it's so exciting to finally just see it come true. It's so cute. It just draws your attention when you walk in the room. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh Now moving on to me and Matt's bedroom, just making it more Christmassy. I decided to switch up the entire bedding situation. I'm actually going to donate this old bedding and I'm putting a white bedspread on because I think that that'll be easier to decorate for the different holidays and it'll just be a nice clean slate that I can then, you know, dress up, dress down. Let me know what you think. I love it. My best friend came over later and she loved it. By the way, I might be working on decluttering my best friend's house in an upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be really exciting. But I got most of this bedding at the at-home store if you're looking for it. I know that not everywhere has an at-home store. But if you do, it's an entire giant warehouse of just home decor. There are, no joke, five aisles of pillows sealing the floor. It's the craziest thing me and my sister ever saw in our whole lives but they had this adorable Christmas bedding there and I got so inspired from it. So check it out. I will try to link it. If you want the bedding, just let me know. I also got a beautiful red blanket. It's like an accent blanket and it goes on top and I left it in two different ways and I really need your opinion on it. I like it a little bit more the way that I ultimately ended up leaving it but let me know in the comments because I didn't know if I should drape it over the side or lay it all the way across the bed or just fold it in half and put it halfway up across the bed. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time.
can promise Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. And if you're an OG, you already know that I'm going to try to be a total perfectionist with my bed. For anyone who's new, I have the most difficult time making this bed because I just want it to look perfect. But I do have a little bit of news. I think for my New Year's resolution, I've never made one, let alone kept one. But I think I'm going to be... I'm going to try to be less of a perfectionist this year because sometimes it can just get in the way of having fun or of things just being less stressful on me. Let me know if that is something that you struggle with because being a perfectionist has always, like, I've always been really hard on myself. I'm my own worst critic for sure and I know that that is not exclusive to me. I know that a lot of people are. And I seem to notice this with other stay-at-home moms, too. It seems to be a struggle for us. All ye faithful, joyful and triumphant, come ye, come ye to Bethlehem. Come Here's something I need your help with, guys. How should I lay this bed blanket? The king of angels, come let Now it's time to clean the bedside tables. These things always get so dusty, it's so weird. And I wanted to switch out my candle. I keep a candle on my side of the bed because I like to light it while I read. And this one, I think it's like a vanilla scent. My best friend got this for me, so it was a gift. I don't even know where she got it from, but it smells really, really good. Thank you so much for joining me for Christmas decorating day two. Let me know what you thought of Kennedy's nursery and remember that I'll have her 20% off link in the description box below in case you're looking for some cute clothes for any of the kiddos in your life this time of year. Make sure you're subscribed with all of your notifications turned on because we will be trying to do extra videos in this Christmas season in addition to our two videos a week as a way to say thank you so much for being so awesome and just being here. Merry early Christmas beauties and here is our mommy and daughter Christmas night. Flesh appearing, come let us adore him. Come let us adore him, come let us adore him, cry. Hello, no, no, she's being mischievous. The marshmallows came out! Wow!
yummy? Among all